Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 46. This morning I was looking at uh, some of my old books and stuff and trying to weed through them and see if I can make room for new ones. And I ran across uh, a book that I've had for like many years, like 1998 or 99 is when I bought it. And what it is, it is called Radio Tech Modifications. And this particular one is for ICOM, Kenwood, and scanners. And uh, what it was in the 1995 time frame, there were a lot of radios that could be easily modified to expand their band coverage. Uh, for instance, during that time frame, scanner radios um, had the capability of listening to analog cell phones because they were not uh, encrypted back then. They were just strictly analog, and you could just pick them up on your scanner in the uh, 800 megahertz range. Well, then the government came, by, came along and said, no, nah, we're not going to let that happen. It's not a good idea. If people could pick up information about people's, you know, accounts and information. So we're going to force the manufacturers to not allow the scanners to pick up those frequencies. Well, this was only applicable to scanners sold in the United States. So what the manufacturers did is they made their circuit boards so that they could use the same circuit board for the United States and other Euro like European countries and stuff like that that didn't have this restriction, therefore they could leave those bands open. So the modification that you had that they had to make is they would just leave out a diode that jumpered in this other capability or a resistor, and therefore it was easy to modify those radios that you bought in the United States to receive those frequencies. And at the time, since the cell phones were still analog and still in those bands, you know, that would be uh, something you might want to do if you're interested in listening to cell phones. To me, I thought it was pretty boring. So anyway, this company pr started producing these books that showed you how to make those modifications. And like I say, the modification was as simple as cutting a diode out or cutting a resistor out or cutting a circuit trace. And what was nice about this publication is that, hold this up straight, is that they had nice diagrams that showed you the circuit board and how to just go in and clip a diode out and it would extend the range of the receive or uh, in the case of a receiver transmitter might extend the range of both to receive and transmit. So these were very popular back in those days, and uh, I can't remember exactly. Uh, I think I bought this one uh, because it had a HT handheld uh, radio uh, and extended the receive band so you could receive more than just a standard band on it so you could receive some of the bands that are normally used in Europe and not in the United States. Um, they covered it each, each uh, and there was... I think, well, the numbering system of the book went up to, I think it ended up like 14, and there was a like an A, eight, in this case, 8A and an 8B. So that means there were like 28 of these manuals. And they I think they were published up until like 2002, and then they stopped publishing them. But each one of the books would cover a series of radios and scanners as shown in the back of the book. And so you'd go, you know, to the bookstore or whatever, and you could look up just from the back cover. You could look up your radio and see if it was in here, and that was the issue you wanted. Um, and then you'd find the modification you wanted in the book, and there you go. There It was a very simple modification and easy to do. Like I say, the diagrams were really easy to follow. 
and so it was very easy to make those modifications. These are still available um, on Amazon, for instance. Uh, this particular one, 8A, I saw it on Amazon this morning for like a dollar and a half, and some of the later ones um, for the later radios uh, were shown for like 20 or 25 dollars. They originally sold for, I think, for 19.95 originally. But like I say, they're still available, and if you're like me, you uh, like modifications and using old radios, this might come in handy for you uh, to see if you can expand the range of that particular radio. Like I say, scanners uh, listening to 800 megahertz now, it's kind of a waste of time because everything is encrypted and digital, so you can't, even if you could hear the noise, you can't decode it. So that's the information for today. Um, hope this is be of some use. If you have any comments um, or questions about these books, please leave me a comment. And uh, hopefully uh, this will be of some information to the listeners. Thanks for watching, and that's see you for today.